beauty. Today we're going to talk about my top five foundations of the season, but before we get into the video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you can be notified every time we post a video, and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram handle at Okay, Miss Gabby, let's talk about one of my holy grails that I've been using for eons, the MAC Powder Studio Fix Foundation. I mean, it's one step, literally one step. It is great for oily skin. Um, it's also like resistant to sweat and humidity. It's perfect. Like normally I wear um, NC47. Um, sometimes I can wear NC45 as well, but I do like that like warm look when I put it on. So I just go up a notch. This here is like, it does no wrong. Like it's been around for years and it will continue to be around for years and it will continue to work. So next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Vlog foundation I mean who doesn't like Charlotte Tilbury these days like this foundation it's more than just a weightless full coverage more than just a natural matte finish it has skincare benefits in it like it reduces the fine lines and wrinkle appearance like reduces the appearance of your pores it's a natural matte so it's going to give you like that airbrush look I am wearing the color 12.5. At times, I also do wear the color number 11. You gotta go out and get this foundation. It is like number one. Next up, guys, is the Bobbi Brown's Skin Wear Weightless Foundation. This foundation is literally like no other, like 16 hour wear. This means that it's going to look the same from the time you put it on to the time you rinse it off. Like what? It has like a matte finish, but it's not like that matte full coverage cakey finish. You know what I mean? Still looking very natural. It's perfect for an all day wear and especially with your mask. It will not transfer. I am wearing the color Golden Natural in 4.75. And I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It looks just what it says, Golden Natural. Uma Beauty. This is a full coverage. It looks gorgeous on you. Glow. It conceals hyperpigmentation and rosacea. As well, it's cruelty free and vegan. Like what? Introducing to you Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer. This jam right here i mean everybody needs one of these it is amazing i am wearing the color 41 in tawny and at times i also wear walnut it like retains moisture like how do you have a foundation that retains moisture i mean it's it's amazing it has spf 30 guys it also has vitamin C, vitamin E. It like delivers hydration to the skin. It blurs the imperfections. I mean, literally, I've used this tinted moisturizer, paired it up with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, and then went ahead and finished off the look with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. You can also use the translucent powder under the eyes as a highlight, or you can just use it all over the face to set the face. Guys, it has been so much fun with you guys. I love to educate people and let them know about the greatest and the latest. So here's the final look that I completed off camera. I'm then gonna go ahead and to lock it all in, I'm gonna go ahead and use my All Nighter by Urban Decay. This is a holy grail, especially if you're wearing masks these days. This here is gonna lock and seal the deal. You'll barely see any transfer onto your mask. So anytime that you're using powders or makeup or anything, you always wanna make sure that you're locking in the foundation and the whole look at that. I mean, guys, look at, look at the outcome. It's been so much fun and I can't wait until I speak to you guys again. Make sure you hit up those comments. Make sure you hit up the like button and make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification. Guys, it's been real. Make sure you go and check out my um, Instagram page, OK Miss Gabby. Love you guys. Can't wait to talk to you some more. I mean, I had such a great time. Peace, guys.